I remember going through this struggle when I was completely broke. My car's broken down, and I borrowed cash from my, from my roommate Trevor's sock drawer. He had $100. And it was my first year out selling. And I remember thinking, man, if only I were able to make, if I could make, like some people make like 10 grand out in the summer, if I could do that, man, I could buy a new car. I could pay five grand for a new car and I could have a little bit of money to help pay for my college. And I would be set. There would be no more fear. And I remember thinking, you know, at some point, it's going to reach a point where fear goes away. Let me fast forward five years. I'm going to say this humbly, but I'm going to say it boldly. Because it's true. After nearly being fired in my first two weeks from a straight commission job because I didn't make one sale. Five years later, I had earned just over a million dollars in sales commission from doing what I just showed you right here with persistence. And yeah. holy smokes. And then that seed was a bedrock to then start my own company. Within those next five years, I took my company public in 2010. And, and the year I did, I made $6.8 million on the day that I went public. But here's the principle. This is, I don't, I don't even care about any of that. I want to give you some context, but here's the point. This fear cloud. I had this belief that once I reach a certain level, once I reach a certain place, I'm like, dude, the fear can't find me. And I can't, right? Because it is so important. If we want to get to the destination that we're trying to go to, right? What? What inevitably is going to happen? Vent up, don't vent down. You need to, to it's healthy. You need to get that out. Vent up, but don't vent down to, to your team, right? That's not going to solve anything. What it's doing is it's just like taking a grenade and throwing it on your feet. I don't even know how you do it. Or I, I don't like, I don't know if you, you like pull the knee, you'll pull the pin or whatever. And we're like, And we're blowing ourselves up. Stop it. Be the leaders that helps your teams to stop it. Through over two decades of personally being in the, in the business trenches and developing tens of thousands of leaders, I've been obsessed with improving my personal performance and coaching and mentoring others to achieve high performance as well. I wanted them to have confidence to take action around things that really move the needle for them, for their business, for their lives. And what we found has been so much more. How did you come up with the content? Like what, what made you decide this is what we're gonna do, this is how we're gonna do it, the content to this workshop? The, the reality is I've been there. I've, I know what it feels like to, to try to, to gain customers and out of thin air, out of nothing, right? And, and also building teams and how to start and, and as I've been listening and working with and coaching and mentoring, I just knew there was a few certain set of skills that if we were to help them with, it would, it would just make a big difference. And I know that anybody who's willing to, to take action around these things is going to, to, to find new growth in their business and, and also into their personal life. Wow. Well, maybe I should take the workshop then. <laughs> Join us. Oh my gosh. I love it, Ben. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for being here. You are amazing. I can't wait to hear all about it. Awesome. Stand guard. Like, what does a guard do? A guard, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not a good example of this, but a guard's like, don't come in here. Right here, come on up. That's what we're talking about. He's, look, look at that, he's guarding that door. Do you think there's any chance of, of, of me getting through that door? Like, no way, right? It's not, whoa, holy smokes. Whoa. He's guarding that door. And I'll tell you what, if we don't guard the door of our mind,